This morning, more candidates lining up to challenge former President Donald Trump for the 2024 Republican nomination. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie expected to kick off his run in New Hampshire today. A one-time Trump ally turned critic. He's blasted other Republicans for not taking on the former president directly. They kind of cozy up to him. They hope that he implodes and that if they're nice to him, that they'll inherit his voters. Former Vice President Mike Pence filing paperwork to make his White House run official ahead of a formal announcement tomorrow in Iowa. Over the weekend, Pence took a veiled shot at his former boss. I believe we have to resist the politics of personality and the siren song of populism unmoored to timeless conservative principles. Ten major candidates are now expected to be in the race by week's end. Former President Trump remains the clear front runner, But some primary voters in New Hampshire we spoke with are looking elsewhere. 2016, Trump was making his issues about the American people. 2024, I think Trump is making it about him. And so you're ready to move on. I'm done. A distant second in the polls, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Well, I don't think the polling matters right now. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott on The View, defending DeSantis over the governor's ongoing feud with Disney. To our young kids and what they're being indoctrinated with. I thought he started off on the, wrong, on the right foot on that issue. It is uh, 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 no, 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 not here. I'm sorry, sir. Do not boo. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu, a frequent Trump critic who had long teased a White House bid, now saying he won't run. Writing in the Washington Post, he believes candidates with no path to victory should drop out so as not to divide the Republican opposition to Mr. Trump. Former President Trump and his message, his style, his brand have cost us dearly, and he doesn't represent the Republican Party. With an increasingly crowded GOP field, the Republican National Committee just announced stricter rules for candidates to qualify for this year's first debate in August. Among them, at least 40,000 campaign donors, at least 1% support in multiple national polls, and a pledge to support the eventual nominee. Craig? All right, Gabe, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.